Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello. We're going on to part four of our Dark Souls 3 playthrough. I actually realized towards the end of stream last night that uh, we're almost done with the base game. Almost done with the base game, which like, likely means we'll get into some DLC action tonight. Hell yeah. Also, I did the math. <laughs> I did the math. Out of uh, out of this game's 26 bosses, there are eight of them that I, I consider to be bad, lackluster, annoying that they even exist type fights like Half-Light, Osiris, uh, you know, things like that. I actually looked at the entire boss list for this game. It's been, it's been a question on my mind for a while. It's like, How many bosses in this game are actually like good and how many are actually bad? Eight out of the 26 are bad. Just straight up bad. Final boss of this run is Gale or SOC. Um, I think the final boss of this run will be um, Frida. Yeah, I think we'll leave Frida for last. I think that's the plan. What's up, Cosmic Kitty? Hey, John, Elgernon, Uranium, Orthanos. Whitney, AV, Barge, Janet, Swapta, Neil, Elgernon, Scythe, Storm, Corn, Majin Kai, Andre. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, I like I said above Storm. Uh, there's complete cloud cover here, man. I can't see the eclipse even if I wanted to. That's not an option for me. If you guys did miss it at the end of stream last night, I did take out the Nameless King. It took me four or five attempts. Not bad. Took him down, and now we go to Lothric Castle. Now leaving Madeir for last. What a chat. I never do. <laughs> I never do. I actually should be able to take down Madeir today if I get there quickly enough. If. I don't know how long it's going to take. I actually don't remember a lot of like the, uh, the area that I have to go through. So we'll see. We'll figure out what happens. Hey, introverted. Okay, our weapon does good damage here too. Good shit, man. Rush, kill, destroy. Janet, thank you for 19 months of membership. It's a total eclipse of the juice. Total eclipse of the juice. Thank you for 19 months, Janet. Welcome back. I appreciate that a lot. You know, crossbow guy, you're really Martian my mellow. You're really Martian my mellow right now, bud. All oh, right, I forgot you were there. Okay. Oh. The delay. All right. All right. What's up, Topor? Twitch chat ignored? No, I don't ignore chat. It just takes me a minute to catch up when I'm, you know, in the middle of large amounts of combat. I was just taking on, like, 15 enemies, man. <laughs> Give me a moment, you know? Looked into the eclipse, saw your future, and your future was dark and blank, right? Filled with nothing. Because you're now blind, because you looked at the damn eclipse. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I thought so. I missed. Was it a joke? Okay, man. I, I I respond that way because there are people that are seriously like that. There are there are some people that like if I don't respond to them immediately, they get very upset. Oh, you know what? There's a big guy in here, isn't there? Yeah, I remember you. I remember. Let me clear these guys out first. What did the camera just do there? Why was I stuck? Okay. 
Alright, I think we're good now. We can kill the big guy. Yeah, there's an eclipse in the game right now. Yep. Let me ember up. Why in 33.2 seconds or I'm banning everyone who comes into stream? <laughs> Son of a bitch. A mass banning. Okay, my timing on everything today is already bad. That sneaky camera angle, right? Who is throwing things at me? Oh, you. Okay, that's fine. All right, man. Come on down. Are you coming? Are you coming down? Where's my backstab? I disagree. Guys, where was my backstab? My character did the backstab animation, but the guy just walked away. What happened here? What's up, NQBB? Good luck on your stream. Thank you. How's it feel not have to, ju to not have a jump button? I mean, there is a jump button. See? It's just not like Elden Ring. But the level design in this game is uh, very much so put in a way where jump is less important. There are moments where you do need to use it all the same, but... It's certainly not like Elden Ring. They just offer different level designs and different ways of jumping. Yeah, there definitely is a jump. It's just not the standard one button jump that a lot of people know. Right? Alright, that guy's above me. That guy's above me. Screw that guy. That's up there. Hey, Zaraxxus. There's me bonfire. There's me embers. The feeling of having both streams open, you're really confused as to why there's an echo. Hmm. I might have an answer for you. <laughs> Eclipse time? Yeah, I'm jealous of anyone that actually gets to look at it. Hey, I have complete cloud cover here. I have complete cloud cover here. I won't be able to see it at all. Actually, I think it's already reached peak. But, yeah, I can't see it at all, unfortunately, where I am because it's raining. I am Sag. It's the last eclipse in this part of the world until 2044, right? Of course, there would be rain right now. Why wouldn't there be? I know you're alive. Wake up. Oh, never mind. I just bonked a dead guy. You're alive, though. Come here. Come here. The Great Lance. Yo, Algernon, they have the two bones, dude. It's time to invade the Fire Nation. Ah, how the turn's tabled. How the turn's tabled. Guys, look, there's an eclipse. We're viewing an eclipse together right now. Look at that. Isn't that something? Thanks, Algernon, for the two bones, dude. Ah, oh, right, the dragons. Right, that reaches me here. I did not give permission for any pus of man to appear at this moment.
Why? Oh, I can't heal. Oh, shit. No bueno. Hold on. I'm panicking. Hold up. Two big, uh, two big mans are chasing me. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. I'm blind, thanks. Yeah, dude, we got to watch the eclipse together, though. Isn't that something? We're not getting an eclipse in, until 2126 here in Sweden. Doubt I'm going to make it. 2126, yeah, that's uh, 102 years away. If you do make it, even at your current age, then that will mean that we have hit leaps and bounds in technology and medicine that are simply unheard of at this time. In which case, congratulations on being alive when that happens, you know? Pog. No, Gray Fox, I don't need it. I've done this before, man. I'm just, you know, playing the game. This is not my first run. Puss of man! Stop! Backstab. All right, now that we're past that, let me ember up again. There's a man back here. Is there more than one man back here? Why am I remembering more than one? Because there is more than one. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. You always struggle here, though? Okay, well then, give me your advice. Give me your advice. I would like to hear it. Cole, thank you for 18 months of membership as well, dude. I appreciate it. At work presently, but wanted to stop by and leave a like and wish you luck in your playthrough. I'll catch the stream after I'm off. Leave a like, folk. Yo, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for stopping by, Cole. Hope you have a good day at work, bud. Can you stop throwing anti-healy thingamajigs at me? You son of a... Actually, hold on. Let me look at something. I, I got a notification for this earlier, but I was busy at the time. And so I didn't get to really investigate. Yeah, yesterday's, uh, yesterday's stream got hit for ad suitability for some reason. For some reason, they're not letting me have my ad revenue from yesterday's stream. That's messed up, dude. I don't even know why. That's the one thing about uh, YouTube that irritates me, is when they do that, they don't really let you know why. They don't, like, tell you, like, what part of the stream caused that. It could be a song that's in the game that someone decided to try to copyright claim. Uh, it could be something someone said in chat. I don't really know. What's up, Gerald? If it was something someone said in chat, it was probably me. Probably. You jerk. That happen often? No. No, it doesn't happen often at all. Why is he so mad? Relax, dude. What's up, Ethan? How you doing? Oh, 
Oh yeah, Majin Kai. Majin Kai. Do you have like a um, like a portfolio you could send over my way of stuff that already exists, so I can get an idea of what you do? So dark here. Why? Oh, you know, just you know, the moon moving in front of the sun and all. But what about you? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. Out here playing some video games. Alley oop. Okay, don't do the jump attack on those guys then. Hey, Retro, how have you been? The big man with the big halberd. Hello there. Have the big bonk. Oh, got it. And another big bonk for the follow up. Winged Knight Halberd. Is that a guaranteed drop there? I want to say it is. I want to say I've gotten it there before. Hold on a moment. All right. Sorry. Okay. Where were we? Can drop back down that way, back towards the bonfire, but I'm pretty sure, I, pretty sure we got everything down here already. Gray Fox, did you give your advice? No, I'm not seeing it. Okay. Either way works, Majin Kai, but if it's like if it's something that you have to actually work for right now, then like don't worry about it. It's just a curiosity point. Like there there's no guarantee that I would use anything, but like I'm always down to expand my options just in case, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you extending the offer. When you can, would you be able to do a series on Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Valhalla? I really don't like those games much, man. Otherwise, I, I would. I'm just really not into them. Alright, we gotta get to that other side. Which means we have to cross the bridge and then drop down. Okay. We got everything in this little area, though. Let's circle around. But who knows, Ethan, maybe at some point in the future, if the mood strikes right, because once in a great while, the mood does strike where I do want to play Assassin's Creed. We just got to wait and see what happens, you know? There's the undead bone shard. That's what I've been after. Play Dragon Age Origins? I would love to. I definitely would like to play more full-on RPGs on my channel, though. I would. They just take a long time to actually get through. You know? Alright, let's go get this Undead Bone Shard dealt with, and we'll come back and continue on. any good movies lately? Mm, no. I've not watched a movie in a while. The only thing I've been really watching lately is uh, Shogun. I haven't seen the latest episode, though. Or episodes. I think I'm on episode five. Welcome home, speak. Very well. Then take it. Hey, does anyone know if Frostbite scales on anything? If I had to guess, it would be intelligence, but I don't really know. I'm going to start watching Shogun. How is it? I think so far, it's been incredible. I, I've heard great things about the book. I have not read it yet, but so far, this show is amazing. I love it.
shit, this ain't working out so well. Dead. <laughs> Anything close to int in this game? I mean, yeah, intelligence is a stat by itself, right? Or is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Or is it called something else? Yeah, it's intelligence. Gonna watch Fallout? I will give it a go. I'll watch the first like two, three episodes and see how I like it. I will say the trailers look fantastic. Did I finish the Arch Thrones mod? Yeah, I have a whole video of it on my channel, man. Always remember, folks, I upload videos as well. What's Fallout on? It's gonna be on Prime. There's the whole mod in two and a half hours. It's just a demo, Scythe. It's not the full mod. The full mod is not out yet. It's just the demo for it. Pain! Expectations for Fallout are low. Yeah, mine too. But I will say the trailers looked fantastic, so I'm pretty excited about it. I can't remember the guy's name as well, but the guy that they casted as like the uh, the ghoul, I think he's I think he's gonna nail the role, dude. I really do. Gray Fox, are you here? Gray Fox, I've been I've been waiting on your advice for crossing this uh, bridge here, but you haven't given it to me. I don't know if you just left or what. I have been waiting, man. Play for the no rest for the wicked demo. Nope. I am waiting until the uh, early access drops on 18. Log out three times while running to reset the fire. Oh, is that is that going to be his advice? I've always just waited until they're not paying attention and then run like that. Oh, you explosive barrel bastard. Okay, enough of the fire. I have had enough fire for today. Oh, you son of a bitch. This is worse than uh, Fort Heights. You think the firebombs in Fort Heights are bad? Look at this place, dude. Yeah, I know there's the, uh, the path on the other side, too. I just always... Uh just wait till they're like looking the other way and then run in. <laughs> I timed that pretty well. I'm happy about that. Be free, dragon man. Be free. He's seeping. 
He's seeping. He's super tired. He's a little bit sleepy. Hey, Agamemnon, thank you for the $2 super chat. Just happy Eclipse Day. Happy Eclipse Day, man. Did you get to watch? I unfortunately did not because of cloud cover. Really sad. I watched a little bit of uh, live stream, most specifically when it was happening in Mexico, because that's where it began. I watched a little bit of that for a while. So I still got to see it. Just not with my own two eyes. What up, Pedro Seed? How have you been? Good to see you back. Did I tell you some good news? Only bad news here. Yes, of course. Please tell me your good news. What's up, dude? the DLC? Nope, not yet. We are at Lothric Castle right now. But yeah, you're supposed to go to the other path and then you basically just walk in this door right here and you get around them. I will say I forgot about this Irithyll Knight though. I didn't mean to throw a firebomb. Only I can frostbite. Not you. Actually, to be fair, you, you have more of a right to it than I do. Bro, you are insane. Can you, like, breathe for a minute? Any breathers? This guy's been holding his breath while swinging the sword the whole time. He just won't stop. All right, lunge. Do it. Good lad. Good lad. Dude would not take a moment to breathe. Things a savage, yeah. It's the uh, the weapon he's using is the rapier, so he's just really fast. Hey, right on, Ben. Pedro Seed. I'm glad things are well on your end. Good to have you here. Hope you've been uh, having a good time playing video games. What games you playing these days? Oh, um, yeah. Can we have a mod change the Nightbot command or just turn off that timer specifically? That shouldn't be a thing. I just realized that's a thing. This is an Elven ring. Oh, it's the command. Oh, Praetor Rykard did the command. Okay, nah, never mind. Yeah, that was Rykard that did that. Never mind. I guess we can just, like, turn off the command, though, right? A little bit of everything, mostly single-player RPGs. What RPGs specifically? Did you play Dragon's Dogma 2? Did you play Baldur's Gates? Isn't there a mimic up here? There is. No, don't scream. That's what I don't want you to do. Screaming wakes up everyone. That's sad. Let the men sleep. Baldur's Gate 3, bit of Persona 3 reload like a dra like a dragon infinite wealth. Right on, dude. That's sick. That's sick. Thank you, Elgernon.
What about a drunk through, by the way? Make some funny rules when to drink, and if it happens, we drink. <laughs> no, because knowing YouTube, I would end up, like, demonetized for encouraging people to, uh, take part in imbibing themselves. If that phrase makes sense. If they were to become imbibed due to my content. Not to mention, I'm not really a fan of encouraging that anyway, especially because, you know, there are people that hang out here on the regular that are recovering, you know, I just don't like to encourage. I think YouTubers with solid views and around 500 subs are 500k subs are millionaires. Uh, what would be solid views, Itachi? What would your definition of solid views be? Oh, right. You. That means there's going to be a big guy down here, too. Oh, he's got the glowy sword, too. Ooh, can I just... I didn't do it right. I hit right trigger instead of R1. I made dumbass. Dumbass. Stop it. You mother bitch. Who healed him? Why won't you die? I forgot there was two of them here. Holy hell. Holy hell. Relative to their sub count. So if they're getting, say if they have 500,000 subscribers and they're getting 500,000 views per video, I mean, pulling off six digit views every video, even with that sub count is insane. Like that, that is insanely difficult to do. There's channels with millions of views that still average like double or not. I should say, I shouldn't say double digit, but five digit views. So like if they have that much interaction on their channel, I would say they are growing extremely rapidly still and therefore that the monetized side of their channel has probably not caught up to that yet. But 500,000 views pulling in an average of 500k per video is still not a millionaire now. Not not on the uh, videos by themselves anyway. Perhaps if they're pulling in hella hella memberships and um Specifically pulling in a shitload of sponsored deals, like if they're doing like Raid Shadow Legends stuff or something, then they're getting closer to that, but even then, still not a millionaire. What up, Joe? Have you played Cuphead? I have, yeah. Played it when it first came out. But always keep in mind that this is always like a channel to channel thing. There is no one universal answer to that. There isn't like one scale model that every channel goes by. That just isn't possible. Every niche has its own CPM and every video has its own RPM. Based on the topic, the average view duration, all that stuff. I believe you secretly are, but you're just humble. No. <laughs> no, if I were a millionaire, I wouldn't talk about how I'm still saving up for a house. Still saving up for a house, and I'm still not even close to being able to make that happen. I wish, dude.
Oh, dude, that timing on the crossbow bolt was insane. No, I um I do think that there's a lot of people out there that think that YouTubers make way more money than they actually do. And it's not exactly unreasonable for them to think so because there's a lot of YouTubers out there that specifically make their videos in a way to highlight the higher end of their life. Just to make it seem like they are doing better than they actually are. You know? That that it's it's become an expected thing. It's normal. The altar of sunlight. Praise the sun. Offer sunlight metal, yes. Very good. Can I get some praises in the chat? Can I get some of them praises in the chat? Any praisers? Look, it's all mad. <laughs> You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks, Sven. Not the praise I'm looking for, but thank you. <laughs> um. Was there not something more here? I thought there was. What up, Scotty? Winter, thank you for the gifted membership to Joe. I appreciate that a lot, man. Thank you. No, I guess not. A friend of mine recorded a few anime manga videos around 20, 30k, and has said his paycheck was insane for the amount of effort he put in, so it's really weird the difference. I mean, some, like I said, some stuff pays better than others. I mean, even, even every video game has its own rates in which advertisers pay for slots on. What's up, B-Dog? It's always just, it's very niche on how it works, and it's all decided on the back end. The person making the content does not get to choose how much they make or anything like that. The only flexibility on that is basically the length of the video and nothing more. I guess how many ads they, they place, but, you know. Hey, Broku. Why do I feel like I just missed something? Hello, I'm back. I would like to sit at the bonfire. Please don't smash my skull. You know, is it actually better to sit at the bonfire down below than go this way? It might be. Like, that sounds insane to me at the same time, but it might actually be better just to go down. YouTubers from my region that don't record in English supposedly earn much less from English YouTubers who do around the same content. Yes, that's because um, the English the English language has the highest amount of advertising dollars involved. It's not because of the language itself. It's just where advertising dollars are placed. Well, I guess it is part part of a, partly the language itself. But you know what I mean. It's not because of like regional, specifically when it comes to the language, but every region has its own like pay rate and and you know involved as well. It just, it, it, there's so many there's so many factors involved there is no it, it, there's not even close to one single answer as to how it all works 
What armor am I running? I'm running the uh, Firekeeper set with the Aristocrat's Mask Helmet. Welcome, sir. Very well, then Tuck Haken. Farewell, Ashen One. <laughs> Almost like a nun, yeah, kinda. That because the volume of people who speak English in the countries that require it. Um, it's not so much like the requirement around speaking it, but that's just because like the amount of people that watch content in certain languages are it's just very disproportionately high towards the english side of things that's not to say that content in other languages can't do well because it absolutely can spanish for example can do quite well too but again it's just a matter of the overall watching on a watcher on average on youtube is you know the average creator and the average watcher is speaking English. It just has the most reach, and so therefore more advertising dollars go towards that. It's not just that way for YouTube either. It's just that's like universal internet truth. It's just the way it is. Not saying that it's something that can't be done in other ways, of course. I'm not saying that at all. It's just like that's how it is right now. All right. Before I go fight Dragon Slayer armor, how the hell do I get down here? Do I just fall off the side? Shortest night ever? Yeah, it's nice and bright here again, despite the cloud cover. Okay, dude, do you have to spit your gross stuff at me? Like, come on, man. That isn't cool at all. Son of a bitch. I've never liked the audio balance on those guys. They are way, way, way too loud compared to the rest of the game. Way too loud. Nice <laughs> have weapon art? Yeah, I just barely ever use it. Basically, it's a... Uh, it's basically indoor. Just gives you more poise. So was, this whole time, I, I couldn't remember if there was a path down here or not, but it looks like it is just that drop down, huh? This whole time. Am I religious? No. Did Josh get bored of playing Elden Ring? I mean... I could play Elden Ring pretty much endlessly, but I can say I'm a little burnt out of it right now, yeah? But like, if I felt that I had to, I would. 
but my channel has never been Elden Ring exclusive, so yeah. I've always played a large variety of stuff. I just played a lot of Elden Ring in recent months because of my Deathless Challenge that I was trying to pull off. All right, DSA time, let's go. I just instantly frostbit him. Oh shit, I forgot he does that. Here comes the dragon bullshit. Instant frostbite. Insane. He's so weak to it. Oh, the meatball. Watch the dragons die. They just kind of fall off into the abyss, huh? And the other ones fly away. Interesting. Is there a point in which they just kind of unrender? Oh, actually, no, they're flying overhead now. I guess they just stay in the. I've never really paid attention until now. I guess they just do kind of say I finished in shrouded. I've not played the new content for it, but I did finish like the first like, you know, the stuff that they put there at launch. I've not done all like the dungeon stuff they put in since. Hey, Emma. We had a job before YouTube. I used to stream on Twitch exclusively. And then before that, I worked in a factory for 10 years before I worked at that factory. I worked at a couple other factories and a few other warehouses. And I had one singular customer service job. Well, very, then touch the and door. after leaving that job, I vowed to never do customer service again because holy shit, can people be uh, unbelievably well, terrible to you for no reason? I empathize with anyone that's forced to work in customer service. Terrible. What am I doing? What am I trying to do here? Let me out. Pilgrim butterflies? I see. You're a forklift certified? Yeah, I've been forklift. Well, it's not up to date now because I've not... Yeah, in specifically in New York State, you have to re-up it every so often. Um... But obviously, I don't live in New York State anymore, so I don't worry about it. But also, I don't drive forklift anymore. I've not driven a forklift since 20... 2017?
Standing lifter seated. Seated. A bonfire so close to the one I just got. Grand Archives key and Gothard twin swords. Goddard, not Gothard. <laughs> I got hard twin swords, dude. Nice. Only ever driven stand up lifts. I've driven a stand up lift. But I just like it was the only one that I that, that was at that job and then like it was an older lift and so it ended up dying and so it ended up getting replaced and they got a seat seated lift. There was something I can't remember what, but it was something severely long wrong with the stand up lift that I had at that workplace. And it was only there for like a month before it like was just replaced. <laughs> this is the only time I've ever driven one. Oh, come on, dude. Thank you. Crystal gem. Really? You couldn't just jump down there? How did you transition to full-time streaming? When I um when I got into streaming, I was working a full-time job. I in in the, the place that I worked specifically, I had a lot of hours, like a lot of hours. My average work week was like 52 hours or something like that. Sometimes it would go upwards of 60. Yeah, it was like 52.3 hours on average. If I remember right. And so I would, you know, I would wake up in the morning, go to work, and then I would go go home and then stream for like four or five hours. And then after a while, my uh, ch Twitch channel got to a point where people were being, you know, generous enough to basically support my lifestyle. Granted that I don't have a crazy lifestyle. I'm, I'm very minimalist. I pay my bills and I buy food. I don't really do a whole lot of extra outside of that. And of course, like, I buy the games that I play, but outside of that, dude, I don't do anything. I don't go out. I don't spend money on extravagant things. I don't have a fancy car. You know, nothing like that. I don't go out to drink or anything. So it, it's just something that for me, I just, I just, very minimalist lifestyle. And it got to a point where I was able to just, I was making enough money to support myself for a couple of years. And so I just kind of dove in, took the risk and decided to see what would happen. So I went full time and I've been full time since. And that was the the day that I went full time was I think October 19th, 2017. Oh shit. You don't do recreational forklifting? No, I can't say that I do. I can't say that I am a recreational forklifter. And he's just humble in reality as a garage with four Lambos. Yeah, it's it is not that deep, man, I promise. <laughs> I I don't own a vehicle myself. Straight up I do not own a vehicle. It's actually a question people have been asking me a lot lately. What car do you drive? The answer is I don't. I don't have a car to drive. God damn it. Oh yeah, I, I you know what you're right. I do have a Honda a Honda Accord because of Melina. She offered me an Accord one day, and I accepted. That is true.
There's going to be hands everywhere in here. Let me go dip my head in wax. Hold on. That's a normal thing to say, right? Hold am I? I'm 36. If I may ask, do you have to ask for the game developer permission to have you your gameplay monetized? No. They could very much legally go that route if they wanted to, but also they know damn well if they were to, it would definitely hurt their marketing that they get for free. Legally, they could do that. But it would be a moronic move to do so. Driving around with your bike then? No, I go with my wife wherever she goes when we need to go somewhere. I make it sound like I just, like, do not leave the house ever. I will say that I leave the house pretty rarely, but I do leave at least a couple times a week. <laughs> you know, going, like, grocery shopping and shit like that. Wasn't this sage supposed to have a third spot it's supposed to go to? Did I just bypass that? I think I did. I think it's supposed to go, like, underneath a walkway somewhere. Or, like, on that walkway over there somewhere or something? I just did too much damage to it too quickly for it to be able to. Oh, flaming flamberge! Shit. Thank you. You bitch. Was the candle wax dip do? It makes it so the uh, ghost arms can't hurt you. But it does have a timer on it. I can't remember how much, but you can see how they don't hurt me right now. It's just that. Hello, sir. Get bonked. All right, never mind. Never mind. So rich, you can just Uber everywhere? No, I don't. I never call Ubers. That shit is way too expensive. <laughs> I love how people are just like twisting everything I say into making it seem like I'm somehow just loaded. <laughs> people are claiming I make seven digits a year. Bro, I don't even make six digits a year, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He makes eight. <laughs> you have a chauffeur? Yes, I do. I have a hired chauffeur. Guys, get this. I'm so rich. I'm so rich that I live with other people. That's how rich I am. Yeah, I live I live in a private jet.
Yes, Nameless King died last night, Ed. Killed him at the end of stream last night. Alright, where do I dip my head in wax? Where is that? I can't remember. This area is so convoluted. Or beyond that point, I'd have to backtrack. Okay. Yeah, man, cool. Sick. Sounds good, Majin. You live in a private jet, does that make you homeless? Great question. Look at that guy run. Now he's trying to dart me. What a jerk. Excuse me, I just need to dip my head real quick. Don't mind me, just dipping my head. I want to be Candleman. Stop trying to stab me, please. It's not appreciated. Our butlers, male or female? That that seems like a like a. Not only a loaded question, <laughs> but also it, it seems to me like a question that I am just like, that question is too rich for my blood. I, I, I can't answer that. I don't know. I've never thought about that before. I, I don't make enough money to know. Take it easy. SRDZL? Sertazol? I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry, dude. Oof. There we go. Another Thrall Hood. How does fire do against you? Not great. Holy shit. Camera! God damn it, dude. The camera just boned me so bad there. Soul stream. Oh, that's like, um, Comet Azure, right? are trying to grab me. What the hell, man? I'm not interested.
can't believe I almost died because camera. Again. Money, everything in life. I think that depends on uh, the person. That is a uh, personal perspective question. For me, no. Like I've said before, if I wanted to make more money than I am now, if I was feeling like I needed to, then I would. Like I, I, I if I, if I truly needed money, I wouldn't be a YouTuber. Straight up. I think it's great that I can make a living doing this. I'm not. You know, sneezing at that, of course. But I've had jobs where I make more money than I do now. Yeah, catch me on OnlyFans, dude. little awkward there for a moment. What's this guy looking at? Hey, thank you, Gray Fox. I appreciate that, dude. Pretty sure I know where this goes, but I need to check for my own sake here. And yes, perfect. Nightunder says, hey dudes, too few likes on the stream, I noticed. Smash that like button if we get to 230 minutes and give out some memberships. Okay, there you go. There you go. See, Night Hunter is going to help me buy a house. <laughs> you guys can help too by hitting the like button. Hit the like button so we hit that uh, 300 mark. Or, I'm sorry, 200 mark. Oh, uh, my wax wore off. Son of a bitch. Can you stop shooting me with your bullshit? Who's doing all the groaning? Hey, um, I need more wax on my head. I think there's something here, but I can't remember what. No, I can't go back up that way to get the wax. Shame. Hey, Mivet Blue. You growing when you're hungry? Hmm. Same. Maybe there's not anything back here. Maybe there's not after all. Toitnoit scales. Toitnoit. Uh, the hands. 
The hands. They itch. They scratch. It burns us. We have that over there. Nothing back there. Phone's finally charged so I can comment. I thought that raid thing was just fancy animation. It's pestering me on Facebook every day. No, it is. Uh, raid Shadow Legends is actually a game. It's a game that's been around for a long while now, too. All right. Surely something's going to pop out here, right? Gargoyle? Yeah. The Gargs. Am I finishing today? I don't know if I'll be able to finish the game today. At least not uh, the DLC anyway. I guess it just depends on how long these fights end up taking, you know? How'd you not get staggered there? Bro, you crazy. Can't believe I got both of the uh, little lizard guys there. You know, one is fine, two is just rude. Two is just messed up, man. Do you fall down here? Hold on, I'm waxed up. I'm all waxed up, dude. Where'd the gargoyle guy go? I thought he fell down here, and now he's just not. Always putting gargoyles on slanted terrains. Always. Hold on. Dipping my head in wax. Hey, bud. You know, that kind of worked out. That kind of worked out a little bit. Yo, guys, we're 20 likes away from the 200 marker. 20 likes away. Oh, God, it's the gank room. Not the gank room. 
All right, let's get started. Is it possible to lure one at a time? Probably not. I imagine when one sees me, they all do. Come on down. Dun, 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 dun. Sir, surely you would like to participate in what we have here. Sir. Oh, it is able to pull one at a time. Just got to be very careful. Oh, never mind. They're all coming now. Oh, dude, not the camera meme. Oh, the camera. You guys ever see what depression looks like? Is there a bonfire? Because I'm going to die. Are they following? Oh, you can just run right by them and they don't chase? What? Hello? Oh, they do. They do chase. Stop faking out. Okay, well, we're manipulating it a little bit here. Stop doing that attack, I'll move in on you. <gasps> Ooh, excuse the hell out of me, Mr. Perry Mage. Yo, Night Hunter, they have the five gifted members. I really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Onikiri and Ubadachi. Thank you so much, Night Hunter. Hey, so I have one flask. One flask use left. Where's me bonfire? Ever use those twin blades? I never have. Hey, Mesmer. You know, there's those ridiculous gargoyle guys up here. I need a bonfire before anything else. Those guys I just killed do not respawn, though, so surely I can just go find a bonfire and everything will be a okay. Actually, wait. If I run straight up this and go to the right, there's a shortcut leading down to a bonfire, correct? I might have to pull a lever first, though. Alright, you know what, dude? We ember up and we go for it. Elevator's a shortcut, and there's also one all the way up to the stairs to the right? Yes, indeed. That's the one we're going for right now. I don't know if I got the most recent shortcut or not.
Hello, friends. Oh, he's faking them out. He's faking them out, going for the deep right. He jukes to the left. He does a roll. He dodges to the right, but fails to hit it on time. Still makes it through. Dodges the soul arrow. Runs into the room. Hits the elevator. Touchdown. I don't know why I decided to commentate on that like I was playing football, but you know what? I win. I don't care. GG, losers. 1v like 10. It's like playing two hand touch against a bunch of kindergartners. You know? You're too fast. They can't catch up. What up, Clyde? All right. We made it here, and I have a whole bunch of souls in my pocket I need to go spend. <laughs> Bringing sports and gaming together. <laughs> Welcome home, I shall speak thine heart soon. I will say, Hannah, I think you're right as well, because I, uh, I feel like I should have had a bonfire before that moment, and I just didn't get one, so I'm pretty sure that's just on me for missing it. I will say I have to pee as well, so I'm going to do that really quick, guys. I will be right back. Okay, we back. Let's get back out there. What's up, Den? Thanks for tuning in for it, man. Good to have you here. What is the max on the Estes Flask? I've not found a shard in a while, but I do have 14. So if that's similar to Elden Ring, then that could be the max there. And then it is plus 10. Are there any more bone shards out there that'll help us level this up further? I can't recall. Then past those giant doors are a couple assholes that cost me a hundred bucks. Yeah, so guys, the last time I played Dark Souls 3, Screamer bet that I couldn't take down the princes on the first try. And then I did. So he paid me up a hundred bucks. Pretty sick. Me and Joy. 
What Souls game do you like the most? Are we talking just Dark Souls or just Souls Likes? Because if we're talking Souls Likes, then I'm going to go with uh, Bloodborne. Okay, where the hell was the... I, I've, I've lost my pathing. I've lost my way. Where the hell was it? Is it here? No, it's not the one. Where the hell was that? Oh, it was the other end, actually. Wasn't it? Plus 10 is the max, I think. 14 or 15 uses. Okay. Okay. There we are. There we are. Here I go again, getting lost. All right, princes, it's time to duel. It's time to du 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 duel. Hello, Prince Lothric. Oh, dear. Another dogged contender. Dogged? Welcome, what do you mean by that? One, purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire linking curse, the legacy of Lords, let it all fade into nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Right. Oh, I forgot it does these teleport slashes and I hate it. Yup. Bro, dodge. Hello? Ever played the Surge? I have. Um, they're janky, but indeed fun games. Oh, dear brother, I'm on my way. My brother, unyielding sword of Lothric's prince. He's a necromancer. Rise, if you would. For that is our curse. He's a necromancer cosplaying as a backpack.
Oh, you bitch. Oh, you forgot about the follow up blast. Worth it. Top off. <laughs> Too early. Why did you go there and do that? Walk down the stairs. Now fighting you on uneven ground. Bye. Looks like I still got it with this boss. I just missed time to uh, a couple of the uh, combos. But overall, we got through it first try. Let's go. First try, let's go. Hey, Claire. That's why you don't do a bet against Josh. <laughs> I have no idea, Anurag. No idea. Yo, Eunice, 18 months of membership. Welcome back. Thank you for keeping it going, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you kindly. Okay, well, that's the last uh, Soul of Cinder part, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's four of them, right? Welcome host. Very well then take it. One. Yes, farewell. Fare thee well. Um, someone remind me, what do I do now that I have all these parts? I can't recall. Welcome, house speak. Ashen one, but fire keepers are not meant. These will reveal through a, a world with Ashen one is the wish for a world without flame of course i serve thee this will be stay thy until i should be of it in the black could this farewell chairs oh do i go up behind the chairs i put them on the thrones plug it in plug it in
I just collect people's heads, I guess. That's a fun thing to do, I, right? Surely. Very fun. Killing the boss, you're able to put them on the thrones? Yes, yeah, specifically four bosses. Walnir, Abyss Watchers, um, Princes, and... Um, Oh, what's the other one that I can't think of? That one right there. That guy. I can't remember his name. The fire fades. And the lords go without thrones. Surrender your fire. Uh, Rit or Orthanos? I actually don't know the answer to that question, man. I have no idea. That's not something I would push on people to do anyway, though. Skip the ads, enjoy the content, you know? up dust oh yorm yes yorm is his name this game doesn't automatically force new game plus on you after you kill soul of cinder right let him grant death to the old gods of lordrin Deliverers of the first flame. No? Okay, good. Because I want to kill him before doing the DLC. Kiln of the first flame. Very good. Did I just use the wrong bonfire? No, we're good. Is this the bonfire in which we can go to the DLC? Or is it further up? I thought Far Cry 6 was alright, yeah. Like Am said, it did get repetitive towards the end, but I feel like that's universal for every Far Cry game. It's behind me. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Thank you. Good call. I couldn't remember if it was, like, close by or behind. All right, let's kill this guy, and then we'll go do DLCs. This fight can be tough, so we'll see how long it takes me. I think this is the boss I practiced the least in this entire game. Why'd I roll backward? Oh, there's my frostbite. Okay. Can you not critical hit this guy? He's a spear guy now. Oof. Uh-oh. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Shit. 
some of these attacks. I'm rolling too far away, so I can't get a good counter hit in. Ah. The grab. Whee! Explode. We run in. RT. Good hit. Good hit. There we go. Oh, so close to getting that dodge in. That is a good song. Okay, remind me, if I use this, once again, if I use this, it does not force New Game Plus, correct? Correct? Actually, you know what? Let me just, we'll just come back here later. I'm just going to go do the DLC anyway. It'll ask if you want to. You can say no. It doesn't? Okay, well then we'll do it now, just so it's done. Summon Firekeeper, guys. You ready? We are Firekeeper Summoners. Wind. Everyone wave hello. No, Elden Ring doesn't force it. It asks you. Look, guys, an eclipse. Wow. The first flame quickly fades. Darkness will shortly settle. But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. Like embers linked by Lord's past. Meanwhile, my weapon is just going at it. Glowing with frostbite. Oh, it's all dark out here, guys. It's all dark. Ashen one, hearest thou my voice still? Yes. Hey, Claire, I'm glad I, glad I could help. Boing, boing, boing. Uh, begin to journey to the current stage. Journey to be initiated from the Shrine Bond for you. No. No journey to. Ashen 
Ashen, thou then call. I am a thousand. Very well. Then take. Give to me more HP because holy shit, the DLC is about to kick my ass. All right, let's go start uh, DLC one. It got pretty dark here for a little bit too. The same scent as that woman. Give me that then thing, you your dark soul. An ashen one. Oh, you don't know how long I've searched. Will I play Star Wars Outlaws? Oh, yeah. Oh, that doesn't have a release date yet, does it? Is this the Ashes DLC? No. Oh, oh, don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. Now. My lady lives in the... I need a prop if you... Except. Uh, yes, Nameless King died last night. I have killed officially all the base game bosses. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. What the hell, man? You got me back playing Josh. I never beat Gale years ago when the DLC dropped. In the last few days, I've been trying to overcome him again. Hey, best of luck to you, Dom. The fight against Gale is sick. It always makes me nervous, too, because I feel like I'm bad at it. Favorite DS3 boss? Nameless King. I'm a Nameless King guy. Don't quite one-shot him. Not quite. Alright, let's see how I do here. Let's see how I do. What are you most excited about for the Elden Ring DLC? Will you be making videos going over it? Um... I'm not quite sure what the video side of that will be. Not quite sure what that'll entail just yet. Um, but I am most excited for just tough boss fights. Looking forward to some new tough boss fights to uh, overcome. That's the drop off. I guess there's nothing else up this way. We just have to go. All right. These tree ladies, dude. And collapse. All right, now we got to be careful because there's a big wolf nearby. It would be best to try to take out all the smaller wolves before we go over that way. Yeah, walk this way, dudes. Walk this way.
Those guys are so squirrely. Here comes the big one. The damages. Where'd you go? Ah, uh, classic. No stamina. Shit, man. Ugh. The fact that it kicks up all the snow, too, just makes it so difficult to actually see him. Ugh. But hey, we did it. Let's see if there's anything up this hill before we go that other way. Ow. Ow. Hey, even the trees are trying to kill me. Yes, I'll be playing Stellar Blade when it comes out. I already have a video on the demo on my channel. Even the trees, man. Get out. Just wanted the item. That's all I wanted. And then down that way is like a little slidey area, I believe. Even the trees, man. I else hates snow regions in this game. All white and boring. You can't see shit. Eh, to a certain extent, I can agree, yeah. But I will say, like, I don't think there's any other snow area in this game, right? Aside from, like, Irithel. But that's not really snow. It's just cold. There's, like, snow throughout it. But it's not like this. You know what I mean? Hey, bud. How do you not see me? Oh, there's that guy up in the window. You can see him just above my head there. He throws javelins from up there. Or arrows or something. Something long and sharp. Oh, there's a tree. Oh, they are arrows. My dude's got the big bow. He 
coming down. Link to the hammer. Oh, yeah. Just kicked Soul of Cinder's ass with it, too. Feels good, man. went splat. You know, these guys are surprisingly susceptible to frost. Surprisingly susceptible. Yeah, Maximo, Dark Souls games are linear. I just think that um, despite their linearity, they do offer a good amount of exploration all the same, and I think a lot of people misunderstand that idea. They misunderstand the concepts. There's something else I can grab. Yeah, I see something right there. The oak shield. There's this guy. Come here. Classic. I think if you've managed to beat Elden Ring, you can beat this game too. I don't know. I, a lot of people think this game is harder than Elden Ring, but I still, even now playing it, I found Elden Ring to be tougher than this. That's not to say there aren't hard parts. Of course there is. Of course the bosses can be tough. There can be really tough, you know, enemies in between everything. But I still find Elden Ring to be more difficult as a game overall. Hey, I appreciate using your prime on me, Ghost Assassin. That's sick. Ah, you would go for the quick shove there. Come on, then. You bitch. <laughs> hey, I want that out of behind you. Come here. The heavy gym. Prime sub worth more than a regular sub for you as a streamer. It's the same as a regular sub. Same as a tier one sub. Why are you running around me? He's running interference. That's what he's doing. Oh shit. 
I'm uh, in a little danger here. Everything's fine. Hey, Derek, how you doing, man? What's up, dude? Hey, Hawkwind, hello. Six homeward bones, damn. to change the sub method thought it helps you more i mean to a certain i i think twitch primes don't count towards the uh the extra revenue side of things but like at a, at a standard 50 50 split it's the same actual revenue can't see what's going on don't like my positioning we just continue down I missed an item there. Hopefully that item's not important. You know, I think this is the this is the one this is the DLC with Frida, isn't it? Yeah. I wanted to do the other DLC first. So I might just get this Ash of War and then go start the other one. I want I want Frida to be the last boss that I fight. What's up, Ram? Hey, Soldier Witch. I hope school's going well for you, Claire. Hope it's going well for you. I'm going to go back up and go across and get that Sight of Grace first. Or just in general, and go start the other one, I think. I want Sister Frida to be the last boss that I fight. Because it's cool. You was jumping after Elden Ring? I mean, not really. This game's design, level design, it really doesn't need jumping so much. There are certain moments where you do need to jump, but this game has its own jump for those instances. There's two. Two DLCs for this game. any deathless attempts for ds3 no and i won't be elden ring was the only game that i wanted to try deathless stuff for oh your head's square on your shoulders is it i thought i've well that you think an old what have you got split leaf greatsword neat keep your
Oh, that was a surprising amount of damage. Okay. PS3 is more difficult for Deathless? No. It has a fraction of the boss fights. It doesn't... Again, it's not that it's easy, but I, I, I don't think that... Uh, you, I, I like to think of it as, like, the amount of risks you take. In this game, there are way less risks in general to dying than there are Elden Ring. Way less gravity points, way less actual boss fights. Elden Ring just has so much more to it in that regard. Even in any percent run, it has a lot more, like, risk, in my opinion. Again, I'm not claiming that Deathless runs in any Souls game are easy. They're not. Ah, shit. I forgot that breaks. It's fine. It, okay, maybe it's not fine. I'm being dragged into a hole in the ground that's not actually a hole in the ground. Look, it's the guy. I actually have no recollection of how I'm supposed to take those angel things out. Damages, sir. Dude, you hurt so much. Oh, why'd I kick? I didn't mean to kick. I've been so good about that for most of the game. Hey, you have to car? What's up? Hey, skating? How you doing, dude? I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know why I'm going around collecting all the items. This turns into a trap. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Okay, so we gotta look for those guys to take them out. Now I remember. Now to find them, because I think there's like, what, two more or something? Or just one with one, that thing that's really hard to find? Ah.
Look, guys, it's an early form of the Fell Omen. Sight of Grace, or I'm sorry, Bonfire, right over there. Yeah, see, I just, I, I'm not, I don't agree, Constantinos. I mean, everyone has their own personal experience, right? Which is fine and normal. But for me, I always found Elden Ring to be more difficult in this game. Like fighting enemies like Melania, um, Godskin Duo, if you don't know what you're doing. Um, hold on, don't kill me, don't kill me. Malakath, like those guys are just way, like I think those are way larger potential run enders than most of the bosses, if not all the bosses here. Not to say that I haven't died to them and that I won't die to them again today. I'm sure I will, but. I've just always found Elden Ring more difficult than this. But I, you know, I will say as well that largely my, my experience in Elden Ring is largely more difficult than what I've done in Dark Souls 3 because I don't use all the tools that Elden Ring gives us. Like, historically, I don't use summons, for example. The summon ashes in Elden Ring are incredibly powerful if you use them. Oh, God, don't die to these guys. Come on. Oh, shit. Panic. Panic. So maybe if I were to use like the summons and stuff, maybe it would be, maybe I'd be of a different opinion, but yeah. So do I just miss out on that bonfire because I went this way? Can you maybe chill the hell out? There it is. Probably shouldn't have rested and just continued forward, but we'll be all right.
Good lord. Don't the boss and get more health if you use summons or something? I believe so, yeah. But ultimately, like... Depending on how you go about it, like how effective you are as a player and which summons you're using, it could still make it, you know, easier for you overall. Like a big tactic with Melania, for example, is still to this day to just summon um, your Mimic. And then just constantly attack with a fast bleed weapon or a fast frost weapon or both. Just because of the matter that it just... When you spam that much and you have someone alongside you spamming that much, it just mitigates a lot of her damage. Because she's bleeding or freezing so often that it just kind of makes it hard for her to do much. This person has whips, don't they? them. Like a fire fan? <laughs> okay, well, it hurts. That's for sure. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. All right, dude. Gotcha. I enjoyed Dragon's Dogma 2 VS. It was a good time. It had its moments where it was kind of like drawl, but for the most part, it was fun. Remember where I'm supposed to go for this at all? Here. Made it. Screw those things, man. Yeah, there's screen tearing. It's just the way my card captures the game. It's either this or deal with a bunch of stuttering, and screen tearing is a better choice. We're aware of it, though. We got Demon Princess coming up soon, yeah? That fight I've always found to be pretty difficult for myself. One of my wor usually worst performances in my gameplay for this game. Here we go. Wee. Not a great start. <laughs> that went about as well as expected. I didn't think the other one was going to open up with the uh, huge purple ground attack right away. Boy, was my lesson learned.
and don't kill me. Thank you. Big, big, big boy damage. Right, that was pretty solid overall. But now phase two. failure. I'm still a failure. Get the hell out of here, dude. Has missed my critical moment. Staggered by all the small orbs. I got to dodge to the side, not through. Okay, very good. I can't remember what that attack does, so I might be in danger here. What's happening? 
basically meteor bullshit. Potential GG. Yep, GG. Okay. I usually fear the hell out of that fight, but it only took me two tries. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Yo, Shatter, thanks for lurking with me, dude. Nice, Reese. I didn't get to see it because it was all cloud. It's still all cloudy here, unfortunately. Let's go spend our uh, souls here, our runage. Having a large health pool definitely helped there. A lot. Mayst thou thy peace. What's the soft cap on uh, health uh, vigor, guys? Anyone know? I know free to DLC before a second because I want to fight free to last. It is 50? Okay. Right on. Take me away! Take me to the city. I said this earlier in the game as well, but imagine that you call an Uber and then these three guys show up. They just grab you by the arms and they fly off with you <laughs> to your location that you requested to go to. Can you imagine? I like Frida a little more than Gale. I think they're both great fights, though. I'd call an Uber every week. First thing I do when I get my paycheck, call an Uber. Hey. Hawk. Dust them. I serve the gods. <laughs> a lie. I ski the dark. Why? The dark soul. Give me that thing, your dark soul. All right, time for the fun part. Oh shit! I forgot how this works. Oh boy!
Hey Josh, how you doing, man? Yeah, me too, Devin. I was surprised there were no more of those demon guys to fight in the in the game. Instead, they're just your Uber. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, you know what? They don't show up behind me anymore as I advance. Ouch, ouch, too early. My bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I wanted the item. I guess I just have to, like, beeline it for that uh, hole in the wall. Or off the uh, edge to the side, yeah. I forgot we gotta take the guy out and then we can kind of go back and grab items if we want them. Remember the first time I did this, it took me forever to figure it out. Okay, I missed. <laughs> and there's the gravity. I die more to things like this than I do bosses in these games, I swear. bonk oh my god my character just like vacuumed onto the ladder there that scared me i thought i was going flying for some reason Would you look at that, a hidden blessing. Not one too early. God. Oh shit, people spawn there too. I'm just gonna go. You know, I'm just gonna go. Many of us are by the fire. Forsaken. I speak. You're creepy, I hope you know that. You're creepy, sir. Oh, pushy man. Pushy Pete over here. What the hell, dude?
Oh, I tried to get him in midair. <laughs> Can you stop pushing? It's rude. It's rude. All right. This is a shortcut back. Very good. I remembered you were there. Go to mid ear right now. Go to mid ear. I mean, I'm going to be fighting all the bosses here, I say. It's okay, dude. Medir immediately. All right, let's go into the streets of the area. I believe so. He has going to be one of those dank knights over there. All right, let me go check out the other side first. I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything cool. Anything potentially fun. Ah. Oh. An ember. You know what? Worth it. Yeah, blue, yeah. That guy's still dancing on the stairs, even though he's not alive anymore. All right, let's go. I missed. guys are just like hiding around here okay i get it you stabbed me you stabbed me real good Wasn't there something I could drop on from up here? Thought there was. Thanks, Gary Bear. Hey, much love, Jonas. Thanks for being here, man. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm seeing what I have to do now. I think. That's what. The hidden guy. And walk back this way so I can do a drop attack on you, yeah? I 
Muzzle weapon damage against Demon Prince. It was alright. It was alright. Took it down first try. You fell for the trap, bud. You activated my trap card. I don't know why I'm making a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh references today. I've not played Yu-Gi-Oh in... I don't even know how long. Not to mention I've not seen anything Yu-Gi-Oh related in I don't know how long. Years and years. Ah, shit. Not cool, man. You'll see, do you like better? I don't know. They're both greats. I will say that I'm leaving Frida for last just because I find it to be the most exhilarating fight. I think three phases will definitely do that, though. Hello, Shira. Hello there, Shira. That guy falling off kind of marshes what I'm trying to do here. Trebian. 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 Very good. There's always more of you guys. I know I don't need to kill every single one of these, but I'm wondering how far up these guys will come. You guys actually get to that bridge? Mm 
Ah, just shy of it. Just shy. Handling those guys pretty well. Ah, speaker of the spurned. Hello. It has been a long while, speaker of the spurned. I didn't get my running start like I wanted. It's fine. What did I just find? Did I just find a ring in there? There. Wolf ring plus three. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I forgot to, uh, you know, let's just. Let's go poise mode, dude. Let's go poise mode. Hey, pot man. How you doing? Yeah. Speaker of the spurn has been silenced. Very well, good to hear it. So mad. Are you actually trying to navigate up here? <laughs> you are. Uh oh. Huh. Okay. That does a lot of damage real fast. Do a little bonking. Is there is a poison swamp? When I first came here, I thought it was. For the first time I played it, I thought it was a poison swamp. Look, guys, DSA 2.0 over there.
Uf. I swear I dodged. game takes me back it's been like it's been years since i played this but it beat it like seven times i think this is my fifth or sixth playthrough it is a very good game and i got all these uh knights on here I can't remember if there's anything. There's got to be something good here, but I just can't recall what. Hey, could you not do whatever that was ever again? The average in build player looks like IRL right there. Jesus, bro. Going straight for the straight for the jugular, huh? Now, Giant, I ask that you don't be mad at me. I'm just passing through. Look awful real. Right, I should probably sit at this, go spend my runes and whatnot. Or souls, sorry. Souls. Have you tried live streaming in the shorts category yet? It could boost your reach to new people to your streams. Yeah, I've thought about it. I have thought about it, Nova. My concern is just like, I don't make shorts content otherwise, and I just don't want to create the expectation that it will become a thing suddenly, you know? All right, guys, I'm going to go pee. I'll be right back. We'll continue the DLC, all right? In the meantime, hang out with the fire keeper. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. What's up, Gara? How you doing, dude? Hey, Gizmo. Welcome back as well. Take it easy, Dust. Hey, Bartek. Welcome back, too. All right. Now to remember where it is that I need to go to get the hell out of this area and carry on forward. Hold on, what did they say? White Preacher Head? <laughs> I like the other one a little more. A little more creepy. Oh my god, dude. That guy plays Mario Kart, doesn't he? Climb, 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 climb. No idea, Mythic Blue. I don't know why I would do that. One. The world does not fear not and let what of fear. Ah, you bitch. <laughs> oh. Never thought for a moment that I would lose that fight. Full confidence the whole way through. That's a lie, by the way. I did not have full confidence that I would not die there. I did not. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yo, Gera. Thank you for the five gifted members of the community, man. Big dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. I have DS3 on my PS4. Do I have to have the newest incarnation to get the DLC? Newest incarnation? What does this mean? Could just drop here on this guy. Oh, that almost killed me? Jesus. We're okay, though. I'm alive. They're not. I think it's because my character model hit the ground just as it decided to warp up onto the guy itself anyway. This is remastered? No, no, there is no remastered version of this, I believe. Not to my knowledge, anyway.
there's like a oh what's it called uh yeah a deluxe edition i was gonna say game of the year edition <laughs> Similar idea where like where you get like the season pass, so you get both DLCs at the, as well, but you can just buy the DLC separately to get all this content too. You don't have to buy the entire game and the season pass at the same time. I mean this reeks of a trap. Covetous Gold Serpent Ring plus three. It's weird to me that they're giving me plus three things here on a new game. That's always been weird to me. I don't understand. Now that's a hammer. Holy brother, are you comp compensating for something or what? Oh, dude. I didn't mean to kick. Dude. Thanks for the hammer, bud. This DLC started the trend of OP weapon arts. <laughs> After witnessing what just happened to me there with that guy's hammer, I believe you. I don't know, though. I think that um, adding that type of stuff to the game just, it, I feel like it adds more flavor instead of just, you know, R1 spam. I think it's kind of nice to have options like that to make it just a little bit, a little more flourish to everything, you know? I know people feel, you know, their own way about it, but I just, I, th I think it's nice to have a little bit more flavor to things. So I will say there are some things as well that should be, you know, toned down. Like things like Lion's Claw, for example, that thing is, like, that Ash of War is nuts. Even still today, it's insane. Cavill's <laughs> ring plus Too close. You little bastards are still chasing me.
No stamina. Not ideal. I gotta start running my stamina out there. These little ones are hilarious. As soon as the large one dies, they just all like bail. Aggro first. Yeah, whatever, it's fine. I've already finished the main story, El Caporal. We're doing DLCs now. Come on, then. No, 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 no. Take your time. Take your time, dude. this oh boy it's dragon time oh boy open the door sit at the site of grace I'm sorry bonfire yeah, Dragon D's, dude. The amount of souls you're getting in this place is insane. Take it easy, Bartek. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, see if I can remember how to do this. I did not remember how to do this. I indeed did not remember how to do this at all. You flying by again? Oh, come on, bro. Someone tell this dragon guy to relax for a minute, please. Just chill the hell out. Ah, bamboozled. <laughs> Invaded by the moaning knights. Oh, baby. You gonna jump in this tiny room with me? I bonk the wall. Don't worry. Oh. 
Oh, you backed up at the right time there, dude. You know, they call him the Moaning Knight, and yet he didn't moan once. Curious. Alright, that led us back here. Midir, shut the hell your mouth. Okay? Shut the hell your mouth. Hello? Ah. I can't tell which way it's facing, so I'm going to guess Mimic. I don't know how true that is, but let's go for the big hit. I am so smart. Ring of the Evil Eye. What does that do again? No. HP from each defeated foe. Back to sleep with you, sir. Refund the game. No moans. True. I've been had, man. Oh, you parry? Parry that. Parry this, you casual. What's up, Devanus? Alright, here's where we gotta bonk Medea, right? Go for the toes, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Never mind. Get greedy and try to attack its under chin and somehow get hit by the fire. Very good. Why is he mad though?
Why is he mad though? Go night night. Oh, I almost <laughs> rolled right off with him. Wait for me. I'll see you in a little bit, my dear. The big fella you got there. Thanks for noticing my big fella. How you doing, Grumpy Squirrel? How have you been, man? Great to see you, dude. That health bar. I mean, I take my own advice when it comes to uh, this type of game. Build up your health bar. Help survivability. There it is. Never shame someone for their health bar. It means they're playing intelligently. It means smart business moves. Is that it for there? Yeah. Secret wall after secret wall. Where does DS3 rank in your list of Souls games? It would be for me Bloodborne, Elden Ring, DS, uh, DS3. In that order. one of these opened up. Yeah, I killed the Dragon Slayer armor here. I did. It's him. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I just miss it. Where is this thing? There it is. I see it. This is the room. Anything else here? Hey, Tom, how you doing, dude? Got a question. What's a brand new game you'd like to see? Any genre, any mechanics? I mean, I'd like to see something like a follow up to Elden Ring, man. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty obvious for me, though. All right. Let me homeward bone and then prepare myself for my dear. Trying to wrap up the seasonal content D4 by getting one last monster kill in a PvP area and wound up ham hammering of ancienting another player. My first PvP kill, and I didn't even know the dude was there. Uh, whoops. Ashen fell, then I down. Very well, then Tut Haken. I do, Elgrenon, but it's just, um, it's so habitual to just use the, uh, homeward bone. I always forget that thing exists. I wish these told you how many souls you'd get out of them. That would be so nice. And some health bar. I'm just at the standard soft cap, man.
Mm. Which one was it? Is it this one? Hey, Cassandra. You just want to say bone? I do. I just want to say bone, man. I always miss it. They do if you sell them? Yeah, that's true. All right, it's been a while since I fought Madeir. Let's see how this goes, guys. Let's see how we do. Oh, boy. Too early. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. I forgot he has a lunge like that, dude. I missed. Here's where it becomes hell. Damn. What is this one? I don't remember. Angry laser spam, that's what it is. I remember now. Oh, 
lot of healing juice. God damn it. Oh. First try, mid ear, bitch. Hell yeah. Once I learned the moves, it got a little better, but I was... Uh, dude, his, his easiest tell I kept getting hit by. His standard double slash attack where he slashes to my, to my left and then slashes to his right. I'm supposed to dodge that and then get a charged R2 on him and that knocks him down a lot faster. The unfortunate part is I kept missing it despite knowing that tell. I'm very disappointed in that, but I still managed to pull it off, so it's fine. Yes, Ken, this is DLC. Yeah. Am I big on medieval games? I guess it just depends on the game, man. Generally, yes. Generally. Hey, Walker, thank you for the $5. What's up, Juice? Hope all is good. Hey, hope all is well for you too, man. I just defeated mid deer on my first attempt. Feeling good about that. Thank you for the fiber, dude. I appreciate it. Sharp tap on the nose with a rolled up newspaper. The biggest thing that was killing me there was my stamina, despite all the stamina I have. It just takes so much stamina to swing this weapon each time. And then, you know, because of the scale of the fight, running back and forth and dodging nonstop, it's crazy. Now we got to fight half Uh, Debatably the worst fight in the game. It's just not a good fight. It's very annoying. My first playthrough of DS1 didn't know what PvP was, and Xbox did a free online week, so I sent, I was sent to some guy's world, and he decked out later in the game gear and boss weapons. I was so confused. Yeah. Yeah. When you don't know what PvP is in these games, you just kind of... You just kind of get thrown out there and chewed up by the wolves, you know? We got the swords too. Can I even open this door? I can't remember if there's. Yeah. Yay, half light. Damn. 
am slightly early. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I've got you cornered now. one of those bosses where it looks like a much better idea on paper yeah <laughs> terrible fight the og moon veil yeah yes madir is dead killed madir first try Oist Troy. Not all DLC bosses are good? No, not at all. I would say they're above average compared to the rest of the game, to be sure, but they are definitely not all 100% great. The Shell. Give me that thing. The Dark Soul. My hands are freezing. Guys, are my hands cold because of the eclipse? <laughs> I've been, uh reading about some of the crazy things that people think the eclipse you know does wife came home with all sorts of stories yesterday about how this one guy thinks that uh, the eclipse is going to cause our cell phones to explode going around telling everyone make sure you put your smartphone outside so that when it explodes it doesn't hurt you or anything in your house Your hands are cold because they're not wrapped around mine. Oh, sweet. Real sweet, dude. I did wish for a world without flame in this. I did. That's true. Elga Riz. Eclipse will make you blind if you stare at it without <laughs> without glasses. That's about it. Yeah, that's about the only effect. All right. Let's go spend these souls before we take on Gale. Now, this fight, I'm expecting to take at least a few tries. Everything else in this DLC, I can handle just fine, apparently. But Gale, I feel a little less confident against. I need about 140,000. How much does that give me? Very close.
Will that be enough? Very good. I was told there's going to be a massive power outage throughout the world for three months. I mean, I could see that being caused by a solar flare. <laughs> a very large solar flare, but uh, that's about it. Oh, shut up. Help me. Was that mean? Was that rude? Should I not have done that? Bit harsh, wasn't that? Nah. Yeah, Devanus, that's it, dude. Apple and cinnamon. That's the way to go. Damn you, evil. Bro is yapping. Give me that thing. The dark soul. I've never used his uh, greatsword. Is it any good, guys? Guys, he said it. He said the thing. Roll credits. Oh, my latest painting. You get a sword too late in the game? Yeah. Oof. Bad time to take a sip, huh? Oh! Yeah, that was a bad time to take a sip. Big bad time to take a sip. This sword is fun, but there's better ones to use. I see. Let me ember up. He wastes no time. He runs right to you, huh? that be a run or a gallop? Great question. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> Am I going to finish today? I still have to do the other DLC yet, so I guess it just depends on how long it takes.
Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Alright, this is when it gets real crazy. Even his cape does damage, man. Even the damn cape. He's got like a full auto crossbow and shit. My god. His sword does look awesome, I will say. Bring it on, Gale. He brought it. I didn't mean to kick. My man is nuts. He's sick with it. Oh. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, I suck at dodging that so bad. Shit. That was dumb. I haven't seen your crossbow in a while there, guy. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Traded a lot of blows with him there. This is not great. But we got through it on the second attempt, so we're pleased. GG. GG. Took every flask I had because I was having a hard time dodging for the longest time. Good lord. Hey, May, how you doing? All right, now it's time to go do the other DLC. The chapel. All right, what two bosses are here? I know um, one of them is Frida. 
Is the other one the one with the wolf, the gang fight? Welcome, I don't have a great item. Chill bite ring. Gale ignored his crossbow entirely, just wanted to punch it out. Yeah, he only used it once. I was surprised. I wonder if it was just because I kept frostbiting him and so it just made him do other things. I, I don't know how his uh, AI works in general, but yeah. Yeah, Grave Tender, Great Wolf, that thing. That's why it pays to finesse the health bar? Yep. Indeed. Health bar help survival. It's always it's always more important to be able to tank another hit than it is to deliver a few more damage on another hit. Health is king, man. Of me now? There is. Well, I can't go up, so we just gotta hope that he doesn't hit me. Okay, never mind. See ya. Bye. Gravity. Vigor or vitality that raises health? Vigor. Vitality is for how much you can carry, I believe. Hey, Dilfer. I'm not going to um, ember until I get all the way down. It can't hit me if I'm dead. And since I'm beating the dancer, try to stay behind her as much as possible. Literally, like, hug her ass. And then when she starts sp spinning, you'll have an easier time rolling out of the way because of the way where the hitbox animations are going. You'll be able to just kind of move along, move out of the way. Much simpler. It won't be perfect, of course. It will be simpler overall. Bro, the way that launches you off is so awful. Oh, 
Oh, you fuck. Look at that, guys. Died twice to environment. That's more deaths than I've had against Medir. More deaths I've had against Gale. I'm telling you, man. The real killer here is this tree. Gara, have a good night, dude. Thank you for hanging out. Hope to see you soon. The thing that's most troublesome for me here is the fact that these things will like when you hop off them they'll like launch you forward a little bit makes traversal a little more frustrating ah panic That kills me? Holy shit, the gravity in this game. Oh my god. That was a tiny little fall. An Elden Ring that would have done zero damage. <laughs> Come on. No, I don't think I grabbed the cat ring. It's fine. It's fine. This is the one. Yes, we land on cold lava monster, so it's instant death. True. True. Hate it when that happens. When you land on a cold lava monster. Insane. Oh my god. The concept of cold lava, you know? Holy, he almost sniped me midair. That little roll fall did damage. I'm so dead. <gasps> JK, by the way. You mother bitch. Arch Nemesis Gravity has returned for revenge. That they have. This is where the fight is. Let's hope we can get this first try. I don't have a bonfire. I think there might have been a bonfire down the other way, huh? What am I stuck on? A giant ice pillar.
Nice, we actually killed it before the wolf got here. That's sick. I don't think the giant wolf is so bad, especially because um, I got the person out of the way, so I didn't have to worry about it being a gank fight. Like, that's my biggest concern when it comes to this. It's just a gank fight. So if you don't take out the smaller wolves quick enough, or if you get the uh, Grave Tender to half health and then all of a sudden the wolf shows up and you're fighting both of them simultaneously, it's just a nightmare. Is this a reference to Sif right here? I feel like it is. Gravestone and a giant sword. I feel like that's a reference there. Has to be? I think so, yeah. How do you guys feel about Sif in Dark Souls 1? I actually like that fight. For me, when I think of Dark Souls 1 bosses, that's one of the first ones that comes to mind. I guess it was just a thought that never crossed my mind that there would be a huge wolf wielding a sword, you know? I thought that whole concept was sick. When he limps around, yeah, it's kind of tragic. Okay, is there anything I have to do before going to fight Frida? I can't remember, guys. What do I have to do to go fight Frida? Must be good because it's the only boss I can remember right now. The second one that comes to mind is the gaping dragon and how absolutely goofy that thing is. How unbelievably goofy. I guess at this point we sell everything, right? Oh, that's a lot of souls. all that burn champions bones undead match what is that oh only online okay well i don't remember that being a thing weird do you like monster hunter games i do i do like monster hunter games Hmm. Let me check up here again. The DS103 that has the boss with another boss riding piggyback. I hated that fight. That's the Twin Princes. I did that earlier today. It's on this game. Why 
Why do I keep thinking there's something up here? Something appears up here at some point, right? With this painting, I think. After the boss fight? Okay. All right, so where am I supposed to go now? Do I go across the bridge and then to the right on the other mountain over there? Down that bridge? Down the bridge, down that ladder right there? And then further down and all the way around down there? Frida sucks. All my homies hate Frida. I like Frida. I like Frida. How you doing, Caesar? Ah, uh, yes, we have to go through all this shit, I remember, yeah. Yeah, she has three phases, so if you don't get through the first two specifically with a good amount of Estus, then you're in danger in the third part. Oh, I hate this area. I am not a fan of this little area right here. It actually reminds me a lot of RE4, though. That is one thing I can say. Resident Evil 4 vibes like crazy here. I'm really surprised that um, Elden Ring doesn't have a single boss with three phases. Then again, the DLC is yet to come out. Mesmer's about to have five. I don't think Mesmer's going to be the hardest boss of the DLC, guys. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think Mesmer is going to be, like, the main story boss, but I don't think it will be the hardest boss of the DLC. Constant screeching here is awful. Also, isn't that assassin bird nearby? I'm pretty sure there's like an assassin bird down here. Yep, there you are. Ooh. Stop it! Just overwhelm him with the big bonkage, baby. It's big bonk hours. The bonk feed. What game are you going to do after this? Are you going to do New Game Plus? I don't know what I'm going to do after this. We have, like, what, 10 days before No Rest for the Wicked drops? I don't quite know. I don't quite know yet. You live? No. You are though. Can I stream some Monster Hunter while we wait? I'm not sure. Sekiro, shut the hell your mouth. <laughs> shut the hell your mouth, dude. Oh, there's the ladder. Where am I supposed to go? Friendly bird. 
home. Well, there is nothing forlorn about you. You must be the other Ash. I, I am Ash. Oh, 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 wonder, my you are. But us, my. Oh, like, oh, like. All right. Not here to listen to him yap. I'm on official bonk business, dude. Now to remember how to navigate this area. You see what I mean by Resident Evil 4 vibes, though? You see what I'm saying? Ground and hardest difficulty. I don't think there'd be enough time for that either. I do want to do that someday, though. I think that'd be sick. I think it'd be really fun to do. Maybe another one of those assassin guys up that way, too. Oh, and then the the guy that's unswallowing over here. We do like collecting embers. I feel like I'm going to need all these embers against Frida. Dung pie. May, you have a great night too. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you soon again. Evil West. I want to say I've played that, actually. I played it when it was, um... It was either a beta or a demo or something. Why these birds gotta rain down on me? Don't push me, you pushy bastard. What the hell's going on around here? This is not very sanitary. I'm blaming the guy that's unswallowing everywhere I go. Since when could birds attend Hogwarts? The hell?
Okay, I'm not falling for this. I know you're there. Come on down. Come on down, brother. This wants me to fall here. Break my legs a little bit. Was the rusted gold coin worth the trouble? No. No, it was not. Sounds like something's cooking in that room. I don't like it. Hey, Rodrigo. Should have a retro stream day. <laughs> like games of 405. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm mixing up uh, Evil West with Blood West, by the way. They are different games. I played Evil West for two days. That was, uh, it came out like right in the middle of God of War Ragnarok. I took a break from the game just to try it out. Just to see. You know, there's that. There's two of these um, bird guys in here. One's above right there, and then one's below. No rafter to land on on this side. Ooh. Oh, shit. Don't kill me. Up. Oh, shit. It's insane, man. It's insane, these guys. Oh. I missed the last hit on that guy. I broke his poise, but I had no more stamina to swing again. Oh. Oh, I hate it. All right, run it back. Can you imagine being the guy whose job it is to just throw up on people? Can you imagine being that guy? Listen, man, what he needs to do is wait for the guy to come over here and then throw up on him. Just do it. Just do it. It's going to be great. I can't roll through that book. There. There. 
You evil shit. Coming in. That's what you get for having no poise, brother. Send that guy back into the well. You know, I was under the assumption that something would be back here, and the game has once again disappointed me. No loot. Oh, good. Hello, Wilhelm. He actually got that heal off. Okay. You're stronger than me. You win. Just kidding, bitch. I'm back. Who's gonna catch the roll catch first, huh? Oh, you're frostbin again there, dude. Gotcha. He didn't roll. I didn't roll catch, but he's dead. Oh, he's got the onyx blade, man. It's so cool. Even the trees are trying to kill me, guys. Even the trees. Hey, does anyone know if that can kill you if it falls on you? I've always wondered, but I've never been able to, like, jump under it in time because I forget that happens. Alright, I'm going to go around the back of the building now and see if there's anything back there. Before going up. Even the trees walked in that movie. Yo, nice clerks reference. Should I tell her? Should I tell her Uncle Gale's dead? Tis good, I pro What 
would have been sad if he didn't get that. <laughs> goes upstairs in that room now perhaps Took your boots, dude. I remembering where to go here is an actual nightmare. Brother, will you stop? I mean, at this point, it's ridiculous, yeah? Rage problems, yeah. <laughs> Guy was a little mad. Oh, we got people throwing javelins from every angle right now. Yep, why don't you guys wake up as well? Join the fray, why not? You know, you can't hit me through the rock, friend. Try as you might. Didn't feel like joining the rest of them, huh, bud? You weren't feeling it? Get the whole follower set out here, man. I've got the boots, the gauntlets, the shield. I got a helmet earlier. I just need the chest piece and uh, the javelin, I think. Not that I'll use it at all. Bong. Now we're looking for a tree that we can chop down to cross over, right? That's the big thing here. I know there's a bit of a pit I can fall into as well, but... I'm not so worried about that. We got Frida on the mind. Frida. Uh, actually, I don't know if we have to go through that pit. I don't know if it's like something we need to do or what. Follower set, so there's a cult. Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Who's asking? 
I remember that being <laughs> there being that many dudes. Oh, this this area is jam packed with enemies. These follower guys are everywhere. Barely got him. I have a question for you guys. Because of this game's weapon durability, um, I, I, I personally don't feel like it's even been a problem. And that this is with a fair amount of exploration and everything. Maybe it's because I just, I know where a lot of the enemies are going to be. And so I just kind of know what's what. Would you guys still play this game if you had to manually repair your weapon even outside of the bonfires? Like, if the bonfire... What I'm trying to say is, if the bonfires did not repair your weapon, would it be as enjoyable? Probably not, right? Which brings up my next question. Why do they even bother with weapon durability in this game? Aside from the idea that, of course, it's something that was in the previous game, so they're just continuing it because it's just something that people expect it to be there, right? Not even lies of peace style. I'm talking like you have to use like repair powder and stuff. Like it's a mandatory thing to use. Your weapon does not repair otherwise. I don't think it would be that bad, but I think it would have definitely changed the overall look of this game. I love weapon repair, but not like Zelda, where shit breaks every 10 seconds. See, I kind of like that because it forces you to think on your feet, think on your toes. I personally enjoyed Le uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom for that quite a bit. But again, like, I, my, my masochism is always shining through in what I want out of a game, right? I've been here already. I just went full circle, son of a bitch. So easy to get lost here, man. Oh, that's that's the thing that falls into the pit. Can someone enlighten me? Do I have to fall into the pit to continue on, or is that something I can do without? Yeah, I definitely want to change strategies, for sure. Their ability is exactly what turned me off the new Zeldas, really? I kind of like it. 60% sure it's optional. I just can't remember where I have to go. That's... I mean, to be fair, this area is confusing as shit, right? Yeah, it just leads right back here again. have to get to that tree to knock it down over this way to continue the shortcut. That's the pit. Which leads me around that way. Which would just go back to the shortcut as well. So I need to go further up the hill on the opposite end of where I am. 
trying to make sense of this area. I've never liked this area either. We gotta go this way. Yes. Oh my camera. Wolf, dude. No, stop howling. That was actually pretty clean, guys. Yeah, we need to find the big dudes. The big dudes are right there. We're on the right path now. I need to find some big dudes. Shit! There's the quake stone hammer. Two more dudes right here. One's going to have an arrow in the back. That sucks. Come fight me, asshole. Son of a bitch. Actually haven't used an Estus flask here. Here's this shit. Okay. These blood fly things. These are the worst. They said bzzzed. Bzzzed. Important question, have you ever blown up Megaton in Fallout 3? Yes. In fact, I've done it more than once. <laughs> oh, don't make me fall. Okay, bitch.
There's so many of these guys. Ah, oh, you got me. Okay. All right, dude. Here comes the bleed. There we go. Hey, Daniel. that it just mitigates my swing. Oh, you bastard. I'm getting eaten up alive out here. Okay. Okay. I was about to get that lunge on me. I think about this every time I come here. Can you imagine the smell? Yes, this area is DLC. There's Wilhelm's armor. favorite DS3 weapon? I really don't know. I've not used a lot of the weapons in this game. I've used Cellsword Twin Blades. I've used uh, Vort's Great Hammer. I'm using that for the first time in this playthrough. I have used uh, the basic dagger. I've used the Morakumo. I've used the Claymore and the Flamberge. I think that's it. As ashes will be, ever seeking fire. That's me. I'm ashes. Oh yeah, and the uh, Abyss Watcher's weapon too. Isn't there a secret door around here? The answer is yes. Yes, there is. Yeah, and that leads down to the uh, big invasion fight down there. That's right. Don't need to worry about that. Like Wild Hearts, would you recommend? If you like Monster Hunter, you're probably like that too. It's just a, a unique take on the idea. I found it fun. I found it to be a good time. Oh, 
Okay, I guess we can just leave and go fight Frida now, huh? Are there any Monster Hunter games that are solo? You can play the majority of them solo. I don't think you have to play with others. There's some bosses that are going to be a lot tougher solo, but... I think it's possible. Be forewarned, eager Ash. Should this world wither and rot, even then would Ariandel remain our home. Leave us be, Ash. Sweep all thought of us from thy mind. Nah. Yeah, Algernon, you can stack up boxes to jump on bosses and stuff and, like, get different effects going, like turrets and whatnot. Yeah. So it begins, gamers. Let's see how long it takes us to do this. She's big mad. Not, Father. We have no need of thy flail. Oh, I have used Frida's weapon as well. Tis only the flame quivering at misguided ash. Please avert thine eyes. I don't remember her tells for where she goes when she goes invisible, so this is going to suck. Ah, it goes behind her feet too. A delay! Yep. About what I expected here. <laughs> Shit. Damn, I keep rolling it too early.
Like I was in the back covering his eyes, yeah. Grandpa has a bowl of hot soup and he's pissed. Damn it. What up, Degree? And now for the really hard part. And Black Flame time.
shit, I rolled into it, dude. Oh! I took the bait. Bro, I can't get the dodge right. Shit. I just can't dodge. Oh. Well. All right, let's take it back to the top. Let's run it back. My strategy for Frida was to summon someone online and then hide behind them. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works, right? I should have embered. What am I doing? I am so bad at dodging that. Good lord. Too close to freedom. Didn't realize she walked up that close that quickly. She's healing. I'm missing the heal. Never mind, I gotcha. Very fast phase two. I have to imagine the black flame will hurt me when she's standing up, right? I'm doing it for science. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Oh yeah, and she doesn't take damage at all either until after that animation there. Oh my god. Hello. She's over here somewhere. Oh, 
Oh my god, the camera went weird on me. Damn it. Again? I healed there. I'm glad to have dodged that. The top off here, that's it for healing. Bye. What is that, two tries? Second try, Frida? Who was it that said two tries? Can I high five you? You're a freaking believer. You're a believer in me. Hell yeah, two tries. The Drag Heap. Where was that? Was that the other DLC? What's up, Silver Tuna? Am I for Elden Ring DLC? Yeah, I'm stoked on it. Yeah, so I did the um I did the DLCs in the opposite order that I'm supposed to. But it's fine. I just wanted Sister Frida to be the final thing that I fight in this game. For this playthrough. But okay, guys, looks like uh, we did it. It took me two tries to take down Sister Frida. I'm feeling really good about that. Feeling very good about that. Is this the millennia of DS3? Yes. But all right, that's it. It was all that Elden Ring? Yeah. That is it, dude. We did it. That completes our Dark Souls 3 playthrough. We have killed every single boss. All 26 bosses in the game. 25, 26 bosses, something like that. All dead. All dead. With the big bonk hammer, baby. Love it. This weapon is really fun. Incredibly strong. I don't think I can actually frostbite Sister Frida. I don't remember seeing a, a frostbite proc on her at all. Maybe I did and I just didn't hear it or see it. I will say that the sound of her frostbite attacks probably overwhelmed my thoughts or my, my sound on that. Plus, the music does get pretty loud in that fight. Um, so I don't know if I got a frostbite proc on her. I know I did, I did on her grandpa or whoever that is, the big guy. It only took like two hits to frostbite him. But against her, I don't know. Did you parry Pontiff in the end? I did, bro, members. I did. I did pull it off. I got better with the timing. 
I learned that basically you want to start the parry animation as soon as his feet leave the ground. That's pretty much it. At least for like the first lunge and then for like his uh, second phase, the, the, the lunge that you parry when he's coming down, you want to start the parry when he raises his sword all the way up. And then as soon as, as soon as that happens, you start the parry animation, he basically lands right on it. Give us a Sekiro walkthrough? No. No. I'm not too big on Sekiro. It's a good game, just doesn't do much for me. Have you defeated gravity? I never will. I never will. But okay, guys, if you haven't already left a like on the video, make sure you do. This concludes our Dark Souls 3 playthrough. It's been a good time. I love this game. Always enjoyable. How is that Melania of Dark Souls 3? She is what most people consider to be the toughest fight of the game. She is what most people consider that. Thank you for the $2, Whitney. I appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed your stay. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry for the fireworks you're probably hearing in the background. Why are fireworks going off? What is today? It's a Monday, April 8th. Why are people f setting off fireworks today? That's weird. Either way, thank you all for being here. I appreciate your company. What do you play next? I don't know yet. I'm going to um, look some things over. We have some time until... Uh, we have 10 days basically left until the next uh, new game comes out that I want to play, which is No Rest for the Wicked on the 18th. So we're going to, I'm going to take a couple of days off to uh, record some other content to make videos with. And then I'll be back to stream with some game in a couple of days. Elden Ring Reforged? No, I do not want to play Elden Ring, man. <laughs> I'm leaving Elden Ring down until uh, the DLC. I don't want to burn myself out on it. Last thing I want to do is burn myself out on a game that I love and end up presenting it. That's happened before and I just don't like doing that. To this day, I still can't even look at Battlefield. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me on this run, and I will see you guys in a couple of days, okay? I'll see you in a couple of days. What's today? Monday? I'll be back on probably Thursday, all right? Probably Thursday. But until then, hope you enjoyed your stay. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Thank you for all the love on the channel. I appreciate it. I will see you guys in a couple of days. Until then, be excellent to each other. Later.